This time everybody has gone to the Rapture as the game of choice. This is going to be tricky to evaluate, as this is a story-driven experience which makes avoiding spoilers difficult. Anyway, let's just begin. It's a walking simulator set in a small village. You only get to explore the area to some extent though, as there are usually several paths you can go, but it's preset. So don't bother trying to go through the bushes because it won't let you. That's not all that is limited though. The game makes it clear that there are only certain areas you're allowed to explore. So if you find a house with the door shut, chances are you won't be able to enter it. Which for a game that's focused on exploration and story, the latter I'll get to in a moment, is not a good thing. The incentive should be wanting to explore and uncover new story elements. This game does the opposite. With so many sections closed off and very few meaningful things to look at that it's not welcoming at all. Alright, now to the story. I'll try to keep it short. The village is deserted and while you walk down paths through the village, forest or houses, you'll come across some shining lights. These are short insights on interactions that some villagers had at that specific location. Those lights only form abstract shapes of people, so you never get to see what they look like. Most of the times one of those light orbs will guide your way through the game, so you can progress the story. If you deviate from the path they'll reappear sometime later in a different area. So far the story is about an event that occurred that got people and animals in the area sick and eventually dying. And one of the villagers decided to call in an airstrike to keep the disease, whichever it is, from spreading. It sounds like it could be an interesting story, but it has the problem that it seems to be artificially lengthened as the light orbs that serve as plot development sections most of the time are about personal issues that one villager has with another, instead of developing what actually matters. Maybe at the end all these little things might become important, but I have my doubts. If you make a game like this, you need to either make it more interactive or build up side stories that matter for one to explore. Just walking through the village where barely anything happens doesn't cut it. Otherwise I might just as well leave the house and have a walk in the forest. 